More research is needed to understand the carbon dynamics in hedges. Farm Carbon is a research project co-funded by the Environmental Protection Agency and the Department of Agriculture, Food and the Marine. Lillian O'Sullivan, Johnstown Castle, explains. To estimate the carbon contained in hedgerows, we need to consider the different carbon pools. We need to think about the carbon that's contained in the biomass, so our above ground biomass that we can see, but also the below ground biomass, because of course roots uh, can make up quite a substantial uh, proportion of biomass. We also need to think about the different organic matter returns into the system. So if there is dead wood or also if there's leaf litter that's uh, being lost uh, seasonally in the year, how much of that is going back into the system and cycled in uh, to the carbon pools. We also have to look at uh, the soil organic matter and consider the amount of carbon that's contained in the soil, particularly under hedgerows relative maybe to adjacent uh, land use. And also there is a need to understand the sequestration difference between managed and unmanaged hedgerows. So what we need to do is to explore uh, carbon in hedgerows, but also how carbon and biodiversity are related. Very often, I'm sure many of the uh, indicators or attributes that are good for biodiversity are also likely to be important for carbon. So for example, things like your structure, the density of the hedgerow, the connectivity of the hedgerow, all of those attributes are important for biodiversity, but they too are likely to be important uh, for the carbon profile and that's something we need to also look at.